everybody. Welcome to the channel. If you are new, I am so glad you guys are here today. I'm just doing a little bit of housework. We have some exciting things happening more towards the end of the day. So I'm just doing a little bit of a house reset. Um, my house, <laughs> my housework has kind of been a little bit neglected the past, I'd say the past week to two weeks, just a lot going on, lots of extracurricular things for the kids. And it was, it was time to give the house a little bit of attention. There is going to be a part two to this home reset, um, because of what happens at the end of this video. It just took up a lot of my time and it was dark by the time I got back inside of the house. So I did not want to continue the clean and there will be a second part for the other rooms in my home, but lots going on. We have been so busy and it's just been such a long summer. I'm honestly waiting for a slowdown. So I am just cleaning my sink. It is horrible. It is horrible. And it is definitely in need of some attention. So just deep cleaning. I always start with my bedroom and bathroom. Um, if I leave my bedroom in the morning, I'm basically not going back upstairs for the rest of the day, just because that's all that's on the very top floor is our bedroom and bathroom. And um, yeah, so I figured, well, I better get started on this first and we need to do some caulking behind our sink. And then I have some rust spots that I need to remove that I noticed. There is so much pollen that is still making its way into our house. It is so frustrating. Um, lots of pine pollen. So I am constantly dusting stuff in our bathroom. You will notice. And it just, it doesn't matter how frequently I do it. The next day, it's right back there. So between that and the cats, I really do try to pay attention to my bathroom and how clean it is with the cat litter boxes in there and just the window being open all the time. So it is an area that I touch up, um, definitely at least every other day, um, just to stay on top of things. And if you guys didn't know, I am allergic to my cats and we have four of them. So I pretty much can handle them and tolerate it. It's just the fur um, the dander, I'm sure just builds up and that's what really gets me. But other than that, I just try to <laughs> try to keep the area clean.
just restocking some areas. This whole closet needs a makeover. Um, it's definitely not first on our list. And we have about 100 different things we want to do around the house. But um, this is where the cat litter boxes are. So um, I have you on my tripod. I'm going to move you a little bit. But so up here is just basically deodorants, body wash, lotions, um, shaving cream. And then down here is more like first aid type things. I need to get a few more containers, um, miscellaneous vitamins and um, first aid, more first aid. This is not the only area in our house with first aid. This is just like um, kind of more backups and accessible for us. And then down there on the bottom is just like a basket of cough drops, some different hair type things, dry shampoos, things like that. Um, whole bag of toothbrushes in bulk and razors in bulk, more like emergency type preps. And once again, this is not the only place we have them, but this is just my little area. And yeah, and then down below is usually like where the cat litter is and uh, there are litter boxes. So, all right, the shower needs some serious TLC. <laughs> it, uh, it needs to get picked up. So let's, um, let's fix this real quick. of leaving empty containers in here so um, the empty containers that were in here are out and uh, yeah it feels good to have this done because I've been needing to do this for like a week and a half <laughs> so anyway we are done the shower okay so bathrooms done counters are done bathtubs done closets been restocked of some things toilet areas clean Shower is clean. I actually need to go check my bees. They need more sugar water. Um, they're up there, so you can see them from our bathroom window. And uh, I have not checked them for a while, and they probably need food. So I need to try and get up there sometime later this evening. But look at all the flowers, you guys. There's so many flowers throughout the yard. Um, super pretty. Okay, so my biggest piece of advice in this video is going to be the importance of a clean bedroom. Um, after a long day, there's just nothing more relaxing than being able to go into your room and not have to make your bed, not have to tidy up. All right, kids are outside playing. They're loud. Um, I need to freshen up our kitchen. You guys, I have so many eggs. I finally got my Crocs and so I can water glass, but look at that. Like, they're everywhere. So, um, and then I just got a new plant over here and more eggs. So, anyway, I, um, I need to get these eggs under control. They're everywhere. So, I'm going to be washing those later because I have something I need to do. So those will be hanging out there, but we got some dishes in the sink. Dishwasher, I think, needs to finish being loaded. And then I got some sandwich bread I made there last night hanging out, doTERRA order to open and put away, and some grapes and miscellaneous things. And we are going to tackle this room. And these two things carried down in the homeschool room from the other day for the grocery order. I did not carry those down yet. And I have my menu plan for the week that I need to finish filling out. And then the living room, probably, Ellie is not supposed to be up there. Um, she's supposed to be in her bed. Anyway, the living room could probably use some dusting. I know the mantle, there's so much pollen still, 
Um, and then just that little table over there needs to get freshened up as well. And then the um, entry, I actually have blankets in here. I need to get out of the dryer. And then here we got a package. I don't know what it is, nor what's on it. It's like taped all weird and funny. And they have um, some Sam's Club things that came in the mail that need to get put away. And then my cleaning closet, I'm going to deal with that another day. It's clean. I wanted to kind of reorganize it, but I don't have enough time. But anyway, we're going to get these groceries put away and I'm going to dust. I'm going to pack up the 4th of July stuff and clean the glass. Um, in the house that needs to get cleaned. What do you say, Copper? He's just like, I don't really care. I'll just clean my house so I can take a nap and relax, huh? That's all he cares about. Okay. All right. Time to get to it, guys. I am super thankful for the eggs in abundance that we have, but really in need of water glassing, putting these grapes away that my kids were snacking on made me realize, oh, they won't even fit in the fridge. It is time to organize the fridge again. The joys of having eight kids that are all the height where they can reach the fridge and take things in and out of it and not put it back where it goes. I'm looking at the back of my right leg in this video. Oh my gosh, I should have wore pants. It looks terrible. So if you don't know, I've had a bunch of phlebectomies and ablations done. And my last procedure was a scleropathy where they inject foam into your veins to like, you know, collapse them basically and close them off. And I have so much old blood stuck in those veins. Um, I actually need to go back in about two more weeks and get it drained from my leg because it's just built up and it's gross, but it hurts so bad. And um, I'm ready to get that fixed. So my legs don't hurt so bad. Um, my girls usually have the dishwashing chore, but they're outside with the animals right now helping out, um, filling up some waters. So I figured I'd do it and get it done. One thing I really don't like is when the dishwasher is just sitting and not running because it almost always needs to be ran um, with three meals a day. Same with the washer and dryer. We always have a load of laundry that we can keep cycling. So I'm really big on just trying to remember to keep things moving. It's like the napping hour for animals in the house. I wish my kids still napped. <laughs> so cleaning floors is something I have to do at least twice a day. I usually do it midday and then at night before I go to bed just to have a clean slate for the next day. But with the animals that live in the house and the kids, I feel like the floors always need to be cleaned. 
um, trying to get better about mopping. I was for the longest time. And now it's like, if I'm lucky enough, I'll mop maybe every other day, every two days. But I used to just do it at night before bed every night too. But I have been so busy um, trying to get back into a rhythm. I used to be really good about following a cleaning schedule. Um, it worked so well for a season in my life. And this season of life is just so busy, so nonstop that I feel like I'm more or less just cleaning as I go, um, cleaning things I see. If I see it, I clean it. And if I'm in a room doing a couple things anyway, I kind of just, you know, like right here, I just dust and take everything off of it um, and just focus on doing deep cleaning as well. So instead of just picking things up in a room, I usually try to do any dusting and then vacuum the floors if it needs to. The dusting is something I try to do at least once a week, and by the end of the week, it needs to be done anyway. So moving into the living room, I'm just wiping this down, um, lots of pollen on it, and I am going to be using this leather spray that my daughter just brought me for our couch. I try to do that at least once a week, but a lot of the time lately, it's been like once every two weeks. But as you can see, the dogs, the cats, everybody lays on it. There's smudges, there's marks on it from time to time. So I do just like to stay on top of keeping it cleaned and conditioned um, just to try and make it last a lot longer. Okay, time to wipe the never-ending nose art from my dogs off the windows. <laughs> they just love watching the kids play outside, the UPS guy pulling up, and my husband. Um, these windows... <music> For the week and I think I'm going to try to do another cook with me hang out with me um, what we eat in a week video because somebody had asked for the meatloaf recipe that I do and I don't do it often but I think I'm actually going to take you guys along and maybe do a recipe in that what we eat in a week video as well so um, that's what we're actually having for Monday so I am going to do my best to do that this week through July 30th um, and get some different meals that we eat during the week up. One thing I have realized is really important is to stick to meal planning. I used to do it monthly. I just have to do it weekly now in this season of life. 
but it's really helpful if you guys don't do it. It makes the week so much easier because then you kind of, you look through your fridges, your freezers, your pantry, see what you have, see what needs to be used up, what needs need to be thawed. And it's really easy to make sure you have dinner every night if you stick to that. Um, I do write out at least a week's worth of meals, but there's a lot of the times during the week I'm just shuffling meals around. If something pops up, you know, randomly throughout the week and that meal no longer works for that day, I at least have a couple others on that list that I wrote out that I can just swap around and see which meal would be easier to make. But things don't get wasted that All right, you guys, I'm going to pause my cleaning and um, take you guys along and share some exciting news with you. And um, it's new for me too. So I'm going to take you guys outside. We got, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. They're so cute. What do you think guys? Take Joshy up to see Grace. How cute and exciting. Who wants to rinse them off? <laughs> They need a bath. <laughs> They're so cute. Aww. Are you trying to see them? Did you see them? Come here. So I've made it down and picked up a goat house, or dog house, alfalfa bales, a bunch of plumbing supplies for our house projects this weekend, and now going to pick up the goats. I got them a little jug of water and a bowl so that they can have something to drink. And we're gonna wrap them in a tarp in the crate to keep them cool and get them back home where it is 30 degrees cooler than it is down here. It is 98 degrees here, that was 72. All right, we made it to Conifer, almost to the Goat Babies Farm. And I will take you with me and let you see them shortly. Here's our two beautiful new little kids, all loaded up, ready for the ride home. Got them in the dog crate with a wind covering, all strapped in with their food and their house. Get some salt. Going to give them some water and hit the road to get home. Say hi. No hi. No <laughs> Nothing? There we go. Here we go. Come here. Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> 